World hunger right now is fought with, you know, a couple ways. First, by shipping food over that these natives have no idea how to cook or it's not a part of their diet or it's just very foreign, like peanut butter bars. You know, it's great, but people in Afghanistan that are getting peanut butter bars, you know, they may think it tastes disgusting. Miracle berries are a real berry. It's not, you know, some human-made, you know, <laughs> frankenfood. It's, uh, it's basically a berry, and that berry contains a glycoprotein in it that prevents you from tasting sour and bitter things. One other area of using this berry is that when you block your ability to taste sour and bitter, you can actually eat a lot of plants that are growing wild out there, treat them as food, really eliminating food miles. And this is another area that we're investigating for like famine relief. In the future, we're going to have an inhalable form which comes in a straw. We're trying to get that price down to pennies per unit. You know, if you look at even the, the most successful famine relief products, you know, they're at like maybe 10 to 30 cents a unit because you got to ship these things way over there. And that accounts for a lot of the weight in the shipping. With straws, they're, you know, it's negligible. These could be manufactured, you know, near these starving countries. The odd thing is, is that in these countries where famine is, is prominent, this plant grows not that far away. So we're able to grow this thing in its native habitat in Africa. And uh, we could produce these straws and then just reshape what they perceive as food.